<laughs> First week of September here up in New England. I had a little push of fish the last couple weeks that were really early. I came in from the east and you know really didn't materialize. We had a couple good days of fishing, but the fishing's really been up and down. Had a decent amount of bait for a while, seemed to clear out. Uh, mostly peanuts for a little while. Now there's a lot of butterfish and, and silver sides in the area. Really haven't seen a ton of uh, the typical bay anchovies push into the bay here. And uh, this morning, you know, looks like we got some new fish finally showing up in numbers. We're getting some really good feeds, a decent amount of fish, but still pretty scattered. You know, nothing too crazy. A lot of these fish are hanging in these rip areas here out on the Elizabeths and just popping every once in a while for about 15, 20 seconds. But if, you, if you're just hanging out and waiting around instead of running around, it seems to be working a little bit better. And uh, looks like it's gonna improve here throughout the morning. Right here, left, left of us, 10 o'clock. Right here. You see him, AJ? He's on it, got him, nice. yeah! Kid's got it made. <laughs> What's up? Need a hand, AJ? Out here this morning, Albie's starting to fill in pretty good here. Uh, really good feed. AJ just threw it perfectly right in front of uh, these fish leading them. Hooked up this beautiful one early in the morning. Got on the bone. Bone's been fantastic the last couple weeks. It's really been the go-to. So. Uh, for whatever reason, the keyed in on bones. A lot of these fish are on silver sides and small butterfish right now, so let's get this little guy back in the water here and uh, keep going. Uh, this morning I got AJ and Jimmy Pregana, the A-team up on the bow. AJ already put a nice one in the boat this morning, and uh, hopefully the, the fishing picks up here in the next couple hours. AJ was doing the skip and retrieve, just skipping it right across the top and uh, fish took it right next to the boat, so that skippy retrieve's been pretty good as well. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, got him! He's on. Hooked up. Woo, he's digging. Got collar, buddy, got collar. You gonna land him? Came tight here again. Literally just fish, as far as you can see. Just drifting here, going with the current, letting the fish come to us. Seems like the best method right now. Feed's starting to get really good here this morning. Really starting to see some better numbers of fish here than we've seen the last couple weeks. And the feeds are staying up substantially longer. Got feeds behind us, feeds up front here. Just hooked up here on a heavy metal hoagie jig. So right now with this wide open bite, you know, it's not an incredible a ton of strategy here. You know, basically we're just hopping slowly from feed to feed. But you know, if you hang out in one area, generally on these uh, areas where there's a little bit of water moving, that seems to be your best bet. And then hopping back and forth, these fish are coming up right along the side of the boat, giving you the best shot to stay in the feed. And uh, you know, just staying on top of the fish is key right now. So super important to be uh, versatile with your uh, lures especially this time of the year when the baits are changing uh, really frequently. We've got um, small butterfish and uh, silver sides currently. The next couple weeks, it's gonna probably swap, uh, swap over to predominantly uh, peanut bunker and bay anchovies. So uh, don't be afraid to swap up the colors. Um, you know, use the heavy metal hoagies, the normal epoxies. The sliders can be fantastic when they get on the uh, peanut bunker. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to change it up if you're not getting any bites. Switch colors, switch sizes. Uh, make sure you're utilizing those heavier jigs when the wind comes up here, especially in New England. Uh, we get a lot of windy uh, days and afternoons. It's really important that you get a little bit more distance on your cast using those heavy jigs. Man, he was right on it.
bite has just absolutely exploded here this morning. We, we thought it was going to be, uh, you know, all the signs were here. Tons of bait, tons of birds sitting here, not many fish, but my, the fish have really filled in this morning. We got feeds pretty much everywhere you could see. And uh, all these fish are on bay anchovies now, which is a little different than earlier this morning. They were on butterfish and silvers, but tons of bay anchovies filling into the sound. Um, about as good as it gets this morning. It really blew right open. I mean, we're getting doubles, triples, uh, as good as it gets. So the fall's, you know, shaping up pretty good here for the next couple weeks.